hit. Ugh. Oh my god. The silence is deafening. Well, it passed on to Jenny, but what happened after she died? I doubt she's still alive. She was old even when Elise went to see her. Oh, shit. Watch out! Oh, you looked important. Well, I, I got. This oh! Is it. I think you're right. Look. Oh! The Jackta! I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this I wanted to pick that damn door, but. It won't get any easier. Don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? Yes, let's. Can you okay. over there? Of course. I feel like Henry Green is the master assassin, but I'm like ordering him around. Discover all of Kenway's memorabilia collection. <gasps> okay, I don't care how many times this takes me, if I die or whatever, I am getting this full sink. I don't give a fuck. Shut up, bitch. Okay, this is it. This is his manner. I am going to fucking cry. <laughs> yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? Hello! I really don't want to be beating my way through this. I want to be able to take it in if you don't mind. Bitch. Ah, shut up. Can I open any of these doors? I'm looking for all memorabilia points. I assume it looks like they're highlighted on their own. Okay, well, let's be sneaky, shall we? Hello! Anything in here? What is this? Another assassin artifact. It's a blood vial! Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god! He had one just kind of laying out on his desk? Well, I assume it's he's not the one who put that there. People have lived in here since then. Maybe Jenny had it there. Who fucking knows? Maybe the Templars pulled it out. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah! Okay, well, that's one. I need to find six more of those beautiful things. Okay. I assume they're not all blood vials. Is that a hat on the table? Wait. Don't tell me. Is that... Oh, no. Something from Edward Kenway's time. I was gonna say that was Captain Morgan's hat that you can wear in the in the game, but it doesn't look like it. It's not red. Oh, is that another one? A pair of cutlasses, perhaps. Let's see. Examine it. I can't believe they've kept all of this. Wouldn't you? Anything else in this room? Oh, pistols. Pistols on the wall, on the other side. Right over here. Miss Thorne is quite the collector. I'll say. All of this. Alright, I need to get in there, but I'm missing three more memorabilia things. And I'm not leaving without them. That looks like it could be something. A map. Some type of thingy. Hello! What have I found? Oh, it's a map of the West Indies! This should belong to the assassins. Yes, it should. Anto, Opia, Upton Travers, and then over there it would say Rona Dinsmore. It's kind of hard to see in the shadows, but yeah. Oh my god! That is the map that Edward sold to the Templars. That's in the game! Oh my fucking god, I can't handle this. It's still here. They still have it. Oh my god. I kind of like this Lucy Thorne woman. Thank you for collecting all this shit. Because you're about to make me fucking cry. Okay, hold on. I need to find two more. Oh, I, 
was in this room already. And then it kind of kicked me out like a bunch of jerks. What is that? Is that a model of the jackdaw? Oh my god, I'm going over there right fucking now. Let me just take a peek. Don't in my don't. Hey, 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 hey. Hello! Hey! I'm trying to take a look at things of sentimental value, if you don't mind. I don't have time for this. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, okay. Just calm the hell down there, madam. I see six. Where the heck is set? Oh. That looks interesting. You don't say. It's a ship. If it was the jackdaw, I'd have the figurehead, though. Alright, and I saw the other ship model over here. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to go look at it. Hopefully this is number seven. Right here. Oh, well, there it is! Oh, I know the jackdaw when I see it! I wish father could have seen this. Oh, man. Oh, goodness gracious. This game, this game is trying to kill me. Oh, I miss Edward so much. I can't do it in the middle of the mission, but that very special thing I had planned, I can do it. Is this? What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure. Complete the piano puzzle without hitting a false note. What? I can't freaking play piano! Something only we can. Up there. D A D E F D. Dad if de. Okay, I can remember Dad if de. Dad if do. <laughs> I'm trying to memorize as much of that as I can. I'm thinking, is this the game room? Is this where he died? Did he die in this room? Because he had secret compartments in the game room. That's where he kept Hatham's little sword. Yeah, it is. Do you play? No. I wish I could. I love the sound. You? Word for word. Enough to pass as a genteel young lady if I need to. <laughs> I would love to hear you play if the opportunity presents itself. The opportunity shall. Just give me a moment. D A D E F D. Okay. I don't exactly know. Okay. It's D A D E F D. Bam! I can play piano. Not really. Not enormously subtle, is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> it should be ladies first, but he is the boss. Oh my god. What did he have hidden under here? He found the shroud and he hid it underneath his own freaking house! Oh my fucking god, I can't handle this. Look at this! Oh, it's just like he's back on his ship. Oh. What exactly are we looking for here? I think this is from the jack door. Where? Oh my god, the wheel! Oh my fucking god. To think this has been hidden for a century. I know, right? Over a century. He died in 1735, this is 1868. Oh my god, I can't handle this. That's not a shroud. Some type of- that's the freaking astrolabe from Uncharted 3. The history of the London Assassins. Vault holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. Oh my Has god, no! There before? I think it- yeah, it's time. Emergency exit! It's closing! Yes, I can see that! Help me block it! We need to find another way out. Yeah, like now. I would assume Edward prepared for this. Oh, of course! Oh my god, you've got to be fucking kidding me! Oh, Jesus Christ! Turn that wheel, girl! Like the captain himself! 
Oh my god. I got to turn the wheel of the jackdaw one more time. Oh, that's fucking amazing. Ubisoft, this is why I love you. An entire vault filled with assassin history left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later or find a better cache. There's, really? there's no better cache. I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. I... I was thinking more of you and your brother. Of course. I shall provide uh, planning assistance from the train. Jacob's off marauding. There is a vacancy. Hey! Do you desire to broaden your horizons? Oh, well, Evie, I... Come on now, oh, don't be well, shy. Evie, I will think on it. You do that. Come, let's get above ground. Let's... I, as soon as this mission's over, I'm going back in that fucking house and I'm doing the thing I said I would. Pardon you. Ah, oh, Venice. <laughs> Man, that was fucking crazy. I'm going right back to the house. Right back. And I have something very special planned. I'm gonna go do it right now. Did I get a database entry on, uh... This house, by the way, I kind of want to. I, I want to see if I did. Um, encyclopedia, locations, city of London. Oh my goodness! The pirate turned assassin Edward Kenway returned to England with his young daughter Jennifer in tow. Upon receiving a pardon from Lord Robert Wal, Robert Walpole, really, he moved to London in order to work with the assassins there. As in. Lord Robert Walpole is in a relative of Duncan. <laughs> How ironic. Once there, he met Tessa Stevenson Oakley, the daughter of his landlord. Using her family connections, Tessa helped Edward purchase a manor in Queen Anne Square. They were married soon after and had a son, Haytham. The Kenways weren't like other well-to-do London families, and they were a frequent subject of gossip. Very secretive. Edward was rarely seen, often traveling about the city and Europe on mysterious businesses. Business of la la la. Haytham was schooled inside the mansion and rarely allowed to speak to anyone outside its walls. There was one but frequent visitor to the house, Edward's business associate, Reginald Birch, who began to court Jennifer, much to her dismay. Yeah, she, didn't, she did not like him. Jennifer knew the truth about her father's past, and when she discovered that Birch was a Templar who was after his secrets, she tried to warn him. Birch sent mercenaries to the Kenway mansion, Edward was killed, and Jennifer was sold to Turkish slavers. Oblivious to the truth, Tessa Kenway allowed Birch to become Haytham's legal guardian and take him away while she remained in London to oversee repairs to the mansion. She died alone 12 years later, allegedly from a fall. Years passed, and Haytham, now a Templar trained by Birch, found Jennifer in Damascus. The siblings confronted Birch in Troy, France, and killed him. Jennifer returned to London and took possession of the mansion in Queen Anne Square. Although she and Haytham kept in touch, she was a, she was a bit bitter that her brother chose to remain a Templar despite learning of Birch's treachery. She became quite the recluse. Her only visitor of note was a young Elise de la Serre who was visiting London on something of a soul-searching trip. Yeah, that was in the Unity novel, and it was fucking insane to read. <laughs> Out of respect for Haytham Kenway's accomplishments, the Templars made no attempt to claim the property while Jennifer was alive, despite their beliefs that there were many assassin secrets still hidden inside it. After Jennifer's passing in 1805, the Order quietly purchased the lot. It's not known what, if anything, any of the Kenways hid there, well, <laughs> and even its location remained a mystery to the assassins for many years. That's basically like a Forsaken and Unity novel, like, recap sort of thing. Well. Oh my god, it's an open window! Okay, hold on. I can go in. I can go in. Alright, I have something very special planned uh, for when and if I found the Kenway Mansion. And we have... In fact, we're fucking standing in it. So, hold on. I'm gonna go and uh, do my special thing right now. I'll be right back. Alright everybody, um, I'm gonna do my special little thing right now that I had planned in the event we could find the Kenway Mansion and we have. Unfortunately, I can't get into the games room, but uh, we're standing in the foyer of the house and I figured that this is good enough. So, yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and stand right here. And I have my book, Assassin's Creed Forsaken, which is the Journal of Hatham Kenway, and I'm gonna read a specific excerpt for you guys right now. Um... Let me find a good place to start. I, I'm warning you, I'm probably gonna cry, okay? I'm probably gonna cry. So, uh, just warning you all right now. <laughs> um, 
For one strange moment, I found myself torn between helping Mother to her feet and apologizing. The sight of her on the floor, on the floor because of me, was so appalling. But then I heard a great cry from inside the games room, and it was enough to propel me through the door. The first thing I saw was that the bookcase compartment was open, and I could see the box holding my sword inside. Otherwise, the room was as always, left just as it had been after the last training session, with the covered billiard table moved and space made for me to train, where earlier that day I had been tutored and scolded by father, where now father was kneeling, dying. Standing over him was a man with his sword buried help deep in my father's chest, the blade protruding from his back, dripping blood to the wooden floor. Not far away stood the pointy-eared man, who had a large gash down his face. It had taken two of them to defeat father, and only just at that. I flew at the killer, who was caught by surprise and without time to retrieve his sword from my father's chest. Instead, he span away to avoid my blade, letting go of his sword at the same time as father dropped to the floor. Like a fool, I continued after the assassin, forgot to protect my flank, and the next thing I saw was a sudden movement out of the corner of my eye as the pointy-eared man danced forward. Whether he meant to do it or it mistimed his blow, I'm not sure, but instead of striking me with the blade, he clubbed me with the pommel and my vision went black. My head connected with something, and it took me a second to realize it was the leg of the billiard table. I was on the floor, dazed, sprawled opposite father, who lay on his side with his sword handle still protruding from his chest. There was life in his eyes still, just a spark, and his eyelids fluttered momentarily, as if he were focusing, taking me in. For a moment or so, we lay opposite one another, two wounded men. See, here I go. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> his lips were moving. Though through a dark cloud of pain and grief, I saw his hand reach for me. Father, I said. Then in the next instant, the killer had strode over, and without pausing, bent and pulled his blade from father's body. Father jerked, his body arched with one last spasm of pain as his lips pulled away from bloodied teeth, and he died. <sighs> that was what I—that was what I wanted to read for you guys. Standing uh, in Kenway's manor, read about the death of Edward Kenway. Oh shit! Well, uh, I guess I'll take this moment to thank Ubisoft so much for including this into the game. Um, to give me the opportunity to do that. Uh, guys, I'm sorry if you needed Kleenex because of this, because I fucking do. I should have grabbed them while I was over by my bookcase. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That is one of the earliest excerpts from the journal of Edward Kenway. Um, of Haytham Kenway, excuse me. The day before his 10th birthday, when his father died and his sister was kidnapped and taken away. Ugh. And that happened here in this house. I don't want to leave. So, uh, I hope you guys liked my little surprise. Um, if you cried, I'll give you a little virtual hug right now. Come here, give me a hug. Mm. Yeah, I need one too. Alrighty. It is done. <laughs>